Hi, these are just a few little hints and tips that will help you when working with wool. I'm Dawn from Fabworks Mill Shop based in Yorkshire. I'm a real fabric enthusiast. I absolutely love working with wool fabrics. One of the things that really would trip you up when you were wanting to make a garment from say a beautiful checked woolen fabric would be the check. If you look, if you take a look at this fantastic tweed, woolen tweed jacket, this has been beautifully tailored. On the sleeve and the front bodies and the front panel here, every single piece of it has been pattern matched and is in line. Pattern matching is basically making the, making the design follow through in line. So when you're cutting your pieces out, you're gonna to have to allow extra for that to place them together in the right piece because you're gonna cut one piece and then when you cut the next piece, you're gonna to have to move it up or down so that the pattern is in the same place. Apart from that, woolens are really, really easy to work with. They don't move around, they don't slip around like you would find with a silk or a chiffon or something like that, or even a nylon or a viscose. Once they're placed together, the fabric pieces stay together. Because of the construction, the warp and the weft, they don't stretch an awful lot. You can manipulate them though in tailoring procedures for such as, as you can see on this garment, it's not been fully tailored. This is quite a loosely um, constructed tailored jacket. But on a classic tailored jacket such as this one, where the sleeve has um, a slight curve in it, a tailor would steam the elbow seam on a jacket. Um, this is because of wool's natural elasticity. It will hold itself when it's been steamed or Think of the crease down the front of your, your suit trousers, it holds a crease perfectly. When sewing your woolen fabrics, you will need a good quality thread, a complementary thread. You need to choose, obviously, the right colour and you want a medium weight thread. Do try and get the thread an absolute match colour wise. If you don't use your threads in the right colours, they're just going to stick out like a sore thumb and anything that's a slight mistake is really, really going to be highlighted by a bad colour match in your sewing thread. The main thing for woolen fabrics, you would, the first thing most people say to me is, should I dry clean it or, or can I wash it? What I tend to do is I tend to pre-shrink my wool because certain woolen fabrics will shrink. Even a closely woven woolen fabric will shrink but a much more open wo woven woolen fabric may shrink even more. Think of the gaps between the fibres. If there are gaps between the fibres and you're going to do something that's going to cause shrinking, the bigger the gaps, the more the fabric's going to shrink. So I, I tend to always pre-wash my fabrics. Wash them on the setting that you would wash them after the garment is made. Because the, the piece of fabric, will, if it's going to shrink, will shrink most in that first wash but do treat the fabric with care and respect. You wouldn't put a woolen fabric in the washing machine for a cotton wash. So wash it on a wool wash or hand wash it. So away you go, get sewn with lovely, wonderful woolen fabrics and you're gonna find them at Fabworks Online.